61A Lecture 7, Announcements. You can still draw environment diagrams automatically with tutor.cs61a.org. This does bring you to a special version of Python Tutor, not the same one as pythontutor.com or .org. And so you should use this one in order to get the right diagrams. Homework 3 is posted. It's due next Tuesday. It should be excellent prep for the midterm exam next Thursday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. in various locations around campus. If you have a conflict, you need to fill out the conflict form today. We will have a midterm one review gorilla section where you solve problems and get tips, as well as a CSM midterm one review on Sunday. So this one's on Friday, which is tonight at 7 p.m. in Dwinell and Hearst Annex. This one's on Sunday in the evening, and the exam itself covers content through chapter one, except for the few parts that we didn't talk about. If that's not enough to keep you busy, we now have a completely optional hog strategy contest, which will be due the Monday after the midterm. It's optional. If you don't want to think about it, don't think about it. If you do want to think about it, I strongly encourage you to participate. But realize that this has nothing to do with like required work in the course. It's just for fun. So. Um, the game rules are the same as the ones in your project, except for there's a new one, Time Trot. A turn involves a player rolling dice, and each turn is numbered, starting from zero. If a player chooses to roll a number of dice k on turn n, and n mod 8 equals k, then the player gets an extra turn immediately after the current turn. However, a player cannot get an extra turn immediately after an extra turn. And here's an example. Now, the tricky part is that you won't know what turn you're on inside of your strategy. Your strategy only knows the current scores. That's a lot of information to guess what turn you're on, but it's not perfect information. So one challenge, if you want to play this game well, is to try to guess how many dice you should roll in order to plausibly get an extra turn. Here are some more rules for the contest. You can submit in pairs. You submit one entry and tell us who your partner is on OKPI. OK Note the slight rule change that I just described. Your score for the contest is the number of entries by other people against which you win more than 50.00001% of the time. So basically, you get a point every time you dominate somebody else on average. Your strategy has to run fast. If you write a strategy that runs slowly, that's no problem. Just write down in a big table every like action that it takes for every possible pair of scores and submit that instead. All strategies must be deterministic, pure functions of the player's scores. You cannot use any additional information or have random strategies. All winning entries will receive a paltry amount of extra credit, but the real prize here is the honor and glory of being part of the Fall 2017 Hog Strategy Contest. We've run this contest many times before, and here were the winners of the past. In 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, and what about fall 2017? Well, your name could be on all future iterations of this slide as long as you win the hog strategy contest. Good luck.